bears out on the trail? Yes. What did you do? Okay, um, so I will tell you this brief story about my first bear encounter. And when I say bear encounter, I mean bears, plural. Okay? So, uh, after about 220 miles, I came into the town of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which is right next to Pigeon Forge, which is Dolly Parton's you know, town, basically, that she owns. And uh, my wife and I had been there for about three days because she was complaining that her ankle had, had twisted. And uh, on the third day, she decided to go to the doctor and find out that she had actually broken her leg. So she had a... a uh, stress fracture of her fibula that, that took her off the trail, but she encouraged me to keep hiking on my own. So uh, after, after we got her on a bus to uh, head back to beautiful town of uh, Mystic, Connecticut, where she spent the summer uh, at her sister's place, um, I hiked out um, into, the, into the woods by myself now. And uh, it was raining and it was terrible, it was cold, and I had constantly thoughts going through my head uh, that, that basically I had made a poor, poor choice. <laughs> I should have gone home with my wife. <laughs> um, but there I was, coming out of the Smokies, uh, literally the last five miles, and I'm walking down the trail, the trail kind of bends around, and there's this tree. And I look up the tree, and I'm like, damn, those are the biggest squirrels that I've ever seen. <laughs> and then I realized that they were, in fact, three bear cubs, not squirrels at all. So I stopped, dead in my tracks. And I proceeded to state very, uh, very loudly and confidently that I was disgusting. That's right. I tasted horrible. I was full of chemicals. I was not organic. Um, I, I had a horrible diet. Um, I hadn't had a shower in a week. There's no way anybody would want to eat me. And I did that uh, with, you know, a big confident voice as I backed the heck away from that tree. Uh, and I got about 50 feet back, and uh, Mama Bear came up out of the gully. She stood at the base. She smelled around for my funky butt, and she, she's like, okay, that, that fool is far enough back. And she ushered the, the pups down, and off they went into the forest. So that was my first bear encounter. And after that, I realized that if you uh, don't startle them, and if you don't... Um, you know, feed them and that kind of thing, then they, they don't want anything to do with us human folk. Uh, now, the, the kind of bears that we have up here in, in northwestern Connecticut, um, they have already been through our garbage, so they know what we eat. <laughs> and uh, they might be a little bit less uh, scared of you, so just heads up on that. <laughs> but yeah, bears, I saw probably about 30 bears over the course of my trip. And uh, I never lost an ounce of food or, or sleep to them. <laughs>